What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Wesley Snyder. Beautiful card, a brand new hero into the game, a 4 star, 5 star, and we thought we were going to get him last year. We've got him this year. Unfortunately, the dynamics, I must admit, look so pixelated on this. It is insane. I would hopefully get a cleaner image. I know they will have UCL heroes, so we'll be interested to see what they're all about. But we have got a controlled explosive cam slash center mid. He can also play left mid if you really choose to. In terms of stats, very good at that cam roll. Nice and agile. Could do a bit of work, 84, 84 has got room to grow, but most definitely the card's going to be working in-game, most definitely. He has got a few playstyle, uh, well, playstyles and a playstyle plus in its in incisive pass. He has pinged pass, long ball, and whipped pass, as well as dead ball, power shot, and also first touch. This is absolutely perfect for him. He is going to be that magician working the ball forward. At the moment, he is coming in at around about 600. He's kind of divoting between 6 and 7. It's a big price cap for him, to be honest. Yesterday, he was going for about 680. This morning, he's going for about 600. So hopefully, we do get a good price out of him and really show what this guy can do because... He's definitely one of the better ones. I was waiting for him and we thought maybe he could have been an icon, but with the introduction of heroes, it was made in the stars for him. So let's look at Schneider, see if he's worth just over half a million. FC24 is here and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give as well as coaching and also the big one everybody wants in FC24 coins. The service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these make sure you head over to skycoach.gg, go onto the website and when you go to checkout make sure that you are using the code JT11 at checkout for your 5% off your orders. And if you'd prefer to do this on mobile, check out the screen right now with the QR code for their mobile app. Right, first touch on the ball then. Let's see what we can go with. Obviously has a little bit of dribbling. He's found his way all the way up the field. Little double ball roll. A bit too much. Should have laid the pass off, but didn't manage to. But he went so far already. That's a... I don't get that tackle. He was no, nowhere near. He was nowhere even getting it, to be honest. Oh, I've realized I've got Bernardo one as well. That's probably not the greatest partner to go with in, in the midfield. <laughs> Going for two center mids. Looking to kind of shimmy his way through here. Let's see what we can find. We can see that pass there. I think the only problem I have spending like, what, 600 coins? Uh, 600, 600 coins. 600,000 coins on a cam at the moment is I would definitely... Oh, there's the pass. Lovely. Into Jesus. Want him to push forward a little bit more if we can. But with the price tag, I'm just thinking the amount of coins I would much rather put on a striker as I guarantee he scores that literally every time. It always loves to do it. But the amount I'd like to put on a striker compared to a midfielder is at this point in the game would be more up my street. I'd definitely be paying half a million for a striker if they were to guarantee me goals. Unless I've already got a semi-decent team, maybe I've packed an untradeable card. Nunes can be obviously a founders, which is always nice. So it depends on how your team sell, but 600k on a cam is a very a risky move at this point in the game unless your team is actually in a reasonable position already but i think 600 is quite a lot and i don't know if he will really keep that price i feel like he will definitely drop at some point but whether it's in a week in a month in a in a few months is really is really down to the question really we see him on the edge of the box again looking for that finesse if we can he's p rolled it as he's not really going to do too much defensive. He's always going to be skipped past really. as that, that isn't his game whatsoever. The assisting game is, is most definitely where Schneider is going to really play. Hence why I really shouldn't have Bernardo Silva on at the same time. As they are pretty much practically the same player in terms of passing. Look at that through ball if we can. Oh, that is stunning. Doesn't get the first bounce, but he gets the second. Son into him. Little one more. Into Jota and a great save from Mignan. What's the dead balls? 86 power, 91. Okay, that's beautiful. Yeah, that, that will do absolutely fine. Keeper's already out, so we're going to go for the trusty outside of the box. Dembele with his left foot across, just chested away. Nothing more <laughs> demoralizing than your shot being chested. Good interception from Schneider. A little bit of a counter if we can. Dembele. 
No, he's not going to get... Or is it... No, he's not going to get... Oh, Tamore. Okay. So we've got some serious centre-back. He does take it off him, though. Can we get that little ball in? Little one more. Oh, it's stunning. I should have took a touch. Good play. Ball control is absolutely on point here. As we try and find a little bit of a skill outwards. Does find it. Getting very, very lucky on here. Looking for that little fake. Little shimmy across. It's got, it's got some pace, to be honest. It's got... In, in terms of the assisting game, that, that is exactly what we want from him. He's always going to be phenomenal ball control, phenomenal passing. That is, is his role. So if you've got your solid DM, solid box-to-box -box with a bit more defensive physical attributes, then he's going to be that floater in the middle. Maybe makes an intercept every now and then, but he'll push forward and he'll be absolutely stunning at it. Into him again. Little shimmy on it. If you've got a few little skill moves as well with him... He's going to be perfect with him. We can see it there. Can we get that layoff? Stunning. This is where he might struggle. Tamore is going to be the big battle of the strength. Does manage to find him. Back to Dembele. Can we find the middleman there? Jota. Can we find a bit of a left foot from Schneider? I don't know what... I can't remember what his weak foot was, actually. I think... Oh, that's beautiful from Son. But Mignan again. A five-star weak foot. Yeah, so he is absolutely fine if you want to try that. Good win back. Little shimmy. Doesn't know what to do. Little rainbow. Get the shot. Beautiful. Into him again. Running the absolute park down. Literally 60 minutes and there is non-stop from him. Feeding the balls left, right and center into him. That is a pull ball forward. Can we find it though? Jota flicks it in. Schneider's back there. Can we get the shot off? No. Good interception from Schneider this time. Going into this second match. Hoping to have the same performance as last. That's an offside ball. Schneider running the field here. Kess oh, that's... Oh, okay. He didn't go for the pursuit there. Looking for whatever we can. Little spin off him. That's beautiful. Finds this opening. Little ball roll into his semi. Jota going for the shot. And it's a beautiful save again. Oh, it gets it back. Finesse. Stunning work from Schneider. Makes him pay with a very, very lapsy-daisy ball. Oh! Going on to the overall form then. Currently coming in 600, I believe. 599, give or take. Like we said, in terms of the pricing, everywhere. 635, 620, uh, 650 at one point. You go further down, you see the 595s, 580 I saw there. So, prices are so up and down. It's unbelievable. Like I think what... Well, I got no one bought them for 760, surely. But you can see the price of these players, especially when they are new. Nobody knows anything about them. Everybody's got to try them at least once to be able to give them a go. I like Schneider. I knew that he would be a very good cam in any sort of FIFA sense because he's got the agility. He's a smaller player at, what, 5'7". He's going to have them tricks. Once he gets that pace boost, once we see that UCL, maybe a further down the line promo where he potentially gets 85 to 90 pace, that is where he really could come into an element. You add a 5-5 five five to him and this card's an absolute joke, especially with that dribbling alongside the incisive pass, all of his traits or styles in fact. It's a very, very top-end card. And most definitely a nice one to, to get into FIFA with. We saw Lucio last year. And I think Serie A has got some absolute hitters at the moment. Lucio Viali. I don't personally know anything about him. We'll give him a go. We've got Costa, obviously, with uh, Rui Costa. Di Natale, Melito, Cordoba, Marquisio. There is huge amounts of heroes in the Serie A. And I think it really helps... Buffer their squad out because in terms of golds, the highest rate is Oshiman. You then got uh, Martinez, Mignan, then Liao uh, bursting through the ranks, which is always nice. But I do think they needed that extra bit to start with to get everybody happy. And, and I think most definitely now, a Serie A team, especially with a couple of heroes, is never going to do a bad job. In terms of what Schneider can do, cam-wise is going to be perfect for him. Centre mid with a solid DM next to him is always going to be a better role if you can. I would say a 4-1-2-1-2 would be nice. He gets that own cam roll, a 4-3-3 fourth variation. Just having that own roll on, uh, by himself, leading up with the strikers and wingers, is going to be perfect. He's got the passing. He's got that dribbling to get through. And I think when you're trying something with him, the only thing I found in that 4-4-2 being very balanced, once he lost the ball, we're constantly on the defense there. Whereas if he loses it in a cam roll, You've got a DM and your back line, maybe even wingers as well, to be able to push 
against the counter. So it is dependent on how your formation sits. I think he's going to be perfect in that cam. I don't think you could push him up, push him up to striker. I don't think that's really going to work for him. But in terms of a cam slash a very light term of a box-to-box -box CM, defensively, he's not going to have anything. He's going to put himself in the way and that's about it. So whether you see that as a good thing or a bad thing, it is totally down to you. The chemistry style people are going for is shadow. Again, if you're going for the if you're going for the um, cam roll, it's got to be a hunter. Shadows just because it's one vote. Hunter's got to be the way. We've got the dribbling. You've got the passing. You need the pace and the shooting. Realistically, at the very minimum, if you're going for shadow, you are getting the def uh, the the pace nonetheless. So that is going to be number one importance. You could argue if you are more of a kind of a very a calm player maybe going for the engine could be a shout purely for the fact that he will have a bit more agility balance there adds on to the passive nothing maxes out at 99 yet so you've got the argument that he's nothing's maxing out so he can get even better does he need the shooting if you've got two very good strikers or a striker and very good wingers that is always an argument as well but at the very minimum something with a pace boost is going to be majorly important at this point in the card whether you pay 600 for him as well is going to be another big price tag but i'd see where he drops to because he's definitely a card that could go into people's teams i just wouldn't necessarily go out and buy just yet so let me know down below what you think about schneider make sure you do like and subscribe and let me know who else you'd like to see peace